Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Abby McPherson, and I'm known online as Abby Teaching Afar. Today, I wanted to bring to you a school year debrief. Many people are returning back to school, um, and I wanted to make sure that you all had the opportunity to reflect on the year prior, even though it was a COVID year, so that you can set the foundation and the priorities that you need for the upcoming school year. Okay, so this video is all about reflection. What we need to do is intentionally reflect on the things that have happened in the past so that we can focus on what we want to improve on in the future all right so if you have a notebook or something go ahead uh, if you want to jot down notes on your phone this is a great time for you to think about the things that you've done and what you want to do moving forward the first thing that i'd like you to reflect on is what went awesome there were some good things that happened to you in this last year no matter where you were whether you were at home the entire year doing online learning or if you were blended learning if you're in school the whole time, something or some things went awesome. So pull those out. Take a moment to think about what went well. Put those negative thoughts and situations aside and think about the times where things were going awesome. And pull out those rock star teacher moments. And let's go ahead and reflect more on those in the next slide. Now, take those awesome moments and let's think about how we can improve and modify those successes because that's exactly what it was. Those are successful moments where your kids and you were having a good time or they really, the light bulb went off and it was an aha moment. So let's go ahead and think about those awesome moments. How can we improve them? What can you pull out from those experiences and those lessons to set it as a template for your future success in this new school year? What can you add or take away or modify to get an even better response and buy-in from your students or your teachers, whatever your learning environment is? Now, with those things that we said went awesome and learning ways to improve um, and add and subtract different things, what is kind of beyond your reach? Let's think about the additional support and resources that we need to make this happen, to bring your experience to a new level. This can be anything from software, hardware, tech tools and resources, or even courses. The things to where I say, this is as far as I can bring it. Now, these are the things that I need to help support me so that I can support my learning environment. Go ahead and think of those things that will help you jot those things down because this is important. I felt the need to put this slide in here because I know I know a lot of times as educators, some people think that, you know, there is a, a capacity that we have, like we've learned all we need to know at a certain point. And I just want to let us all know that there's always room for improvement. There's always ways to grow. So go ahead and leave the ego at the door. Maybe it's not ego for you. Maybe it's just unwillingness. Maybe you're stubborn. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call you out. Maybe you're just stubborn and you are tired or you don't know what you don't know. But there's always room to improve, okay? And this is taking your experiences from the past and leading them into the future so that you can help your students, yourself, your colleagues, okay? So don't just rely on what you already know or don't just not want to know anything else. Like open up your mind to this new experience or a new opportunity to become better. In years past, maybe even just last year, you may have run across some resources that were actually helpful. So take the time to recall those helpful uh, research tools or websites or, you know, just resources that you had interest in. Maybe you didn't have enough time to explore it fully or that you thought, uh, I want to use this again in the future. Just in case you forget, go ahead and jot those down, okay? And also, this is an, a great time to look for new resources. You can scour the internet. Social media, Twitter's great, Instagram's great for anything other teachers are using. And jot down, so, jot down those things that you're interested in and giving a try or learning a little bit more about. This is key and this is important because we're all individuals. I want you to take notice of what you are interested in. What hobbies do you have? What other things outside of the school building are you interested in? Now, many of our personal professional interests can assist us in education. It can help us take the time to learn more about what we want to learn and improve and, and get better at, okay? This can help our mood and our ability to navigate through challenges and meet the needs of students by us continuing to be uh, long-term or lifetime learners. It helps put us in the, the seat of the student. Um, and as we face different challenges and the things that we're learning how to do, we can help uh, modify the different things that our students may be struggling with and be able to identify and build community in the area to be able to help each other through different difficult challenges and uh, and you'll just see in a different way so as we continue to learn and and be exposed to different learning and teaching styles it in turn makes us better educators so that we can be to, so that we can fulfill those needs for our students all right 
So go ahead and jot down the things that you're interested in. And also um, jot down the different ways and resources that you can do to learn things that you're interested in because it's also important that we're human outside of school. I know for me, uh, my outside of school activity was photography and videography. And I'm learning more about that each and every day, which helped me tremendously in my classroom, being able to create resources for my students to utilize, learn, watch, and enjoy. The next thing is professional development. Like I said in the last slide, us continuing to learn and, and, and develop in different areas is great. All right. So I want you to start early, start early. If you haven't already, start early to look for those professional development opportunities that you're interested in so that you can help uh, your students and your staff members and your colleagues to learn the things that you're interested in. So please look at the schedule find those different opportunities whether somewhere that you can go a lot of these uh, PD opportunities are online now a lot of these courses are online find those opportunities if you need to go ahead and submit your your days off from now this is a head start you can start asking questions to your admin about what the policy is for taking those days off should you need or if there's any money available because some of these things are not free but these are the conversations you can start early instead of two weeks before begging for the time off or saying, can you help me with some money? And they say it's not in the budget. So really, professional development opportunities should be looked you know, for the year before so that can't be put into the budget. But this is also a great time to say, hey, I'm interested in this. What can we do to make it happen? Well, I hope those couple of tips were helpful for you all. These are things that I wish I would have been doing in my years of teaching, uh, just reflecting on my years past and being able to set a foundation for my new year, the things that I want to do, the things that I, I want to nix, or the things that I want to continue to improve on. And I want to encourage you all to do that. Even if you've already started school, um, even if you haven't, uh, take the opportunity to reflect on it and prepare yourself because I find one of the most frustrating things about being a teacher is needing help, but not knowing how to express it, not knowing how to voice it, not knowing what to ask for. So by doing this reflection should hopefully help you know what you need what you can ask for and how you can get it done all right so thank you so much if you have any other questions feel free to reach out to me on instagram at abby teaching afar on facebook i've started new um new groups and I'm, I'm working on putting more material in there so there's the ata phys ed i'm a physical educator so be putting more resources and how to's um in that group there's also ata ed tech where i'll be doing more general things just about education and technology in general walking you through how to work software or answering any questions that you have so please feel free to join those groups and i'm also on twitter at abby teach afar because i couldn't get the ing because it was too long but abby teach afar i'm pretty present on there happy to help out in any way i can enjoy your school year let's make it better than ever take care